Kid Reporter. James Cameron is very well known for his famous films, including Titanic and most recently Avatar. It's also pretty well known that he's also into science and technology. And he believes that technology has a lot to offer in education. Technology and education were two main themes in the U.S. finals for Microsoft's Imagine Cup in Washington, D.C. on April 26, where students across the nation came together to show their ideas on how they could solve world problems through technology. Cam was there, and so was I, and I grabbed a chance to interview him. So when did you get the idea for the XPRIZE Foundation, or did somebody else inspire you? I actually didn't originate the X Prize Foundation. I, uh, Susie actually is working with the X Prize Foundation. I know the I know the guy that's in charge of it, Peter Diamandis. I've known him for for years and years because he was involved in space projects and so on. I've, I've known him for almost a decade. And of course, we're we're fans of the X Prize Foundation. Yeah, and you support it and with I your foundation. Exactly. Uh huh. And so in this contest, I've noticed. I thought that all the students, even if they don't win here, have come away pushing well, themselves. Did, did even you mean more. to ask us about the X Prize or about the Imagine Cup? The X Prize. Okay. Yeah. Right, cool. just, just but uh -huh, the kids who walk away from here, even if they don't win, they have pushed themselves even further because there was a competition. The X Prize is kind of like that. Do you yeah. think they have the same that same thing going for them? Well, look, uh, people love a competition, right? right? And the X Prize model, as well as the Imagine Cup model, inspires people to to go out, and they they know there are going to be other teams out there. I think it makes them better. I think it creates a cohesive uh, group feeling uh, in a small team to know that they're in competition, and uh, it makes them better. Yeah, and you're part of, and you're part of the X Prize Foundation too. Well, I'm actually working with my sister Rebecca over there. Helping, um, helping Peter and the X Prize Foundation come up with ideas for X Prize for Education. Mm -hmm. That's a good plan. And what I'm hoping, oh, uh -huh. I'm hoping that the Imagine Cup will start a competition for children your age. Wouldn't yeah. that be cool? Because we're also the next generation. That's right. After these people, we're the next generation. That's right. And let's see. Um, so film seems to be really powerful to get message, messages across. Do you also think that video games can get messages across to kids, too? I actually think that video games can be a very powerful way to teach because I think that when a, uh, I think kids really are a sponge for information, and a video game creates a set of problems that they need to solve, and they need to learn things within the game to solve those problems. Usually, it's just stuff that has no bearing on their day-to-day -day life, and it's useless information. It's like you know, if I get this thing, I can get so much power. I can do this, and you got to memorize hundreds or thousands of things within the game. Well, why not? Uh, why not create games? that actually use the same principles that you have to learn in order to succeed, but do it with information that actually could be useful to you yeah. in your life. And the problem is mm -hmm. that, that learning games historically haven't been very good. Um, right. and, and they don't sell very well. Now, is it that they don't sell very well uh, because people aren't interested in, in them, or is it they don't sell very well because they're not very good? You know, my, my theory is that they just need to be better. And that, right. and that kids will switch on to them. Well, lots of learning games, the kids see it as like um, work when they could be playing right. the fun video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True, but, 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 but I also think that kids are very curious. And if you can, and, and, and left to their own devices, they want to know things. And they'll, you know, they, they, uh, uh, if you can inspire that curiosity and one thing leads to another in the, in the manner of a mystery. Uh, then I think a learning game can actually be pretty good, and maybe maybe you're not just there to learn the multiplication tables. Maybe you maybe things are getting picked up along the way that actually uh, you're not even aware that that you're learning stuff that's important to know. Yeah, and uh, one more question. Okay. okay. Um, now, and now I know he's a reporter. <laughs> when he said one more question. <laughs> good. The, the game that you mentioned up there, six one with a homeless boy. Mm -hmm. They said that more. Learning gets across when it's fun. Do you agree? I think. I think. Uh, uh, sorry, ask the question again. Learning gets across. They they said that. Um, I'm not exactly exactly sure how they said, it, but they said like more gets across to kids when it's made fun. 
Do you yes, agree? Exactly. So, so the w there, what they're doing is they're creating a a reality. You go into that reality as a player in a game, and you're learning about this kid's life in this slum in the alleys of a, of a slum in India. And all of a sudden, you know something about what it's like to be to be in his shoes, in that in that boy's shoes, in that world, what his life is like. So you've learned something about people uh, on the other side of the world, uh -huh. but you've done it in a fun context of solving right. problems in a game. And those video games were really fun. The kids are playing them up yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. So and you've also you've now... Proven it, the point. I know. Right? Uh-huh. Right. And now you have one more reason to give to charity, because you actually know what the people go through. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. See, the thing is, if you if you walk a mile in the, in the guy's shoes, then you have a com compassionate reaction, and then that leads to wanting to help. That's right. There you go. Well, thank you so much. All right. You're here first. Thank you.